Hey guys, I uh, was at the supercharger today and had a bunch of errors thrown on my car. So, doing some Google searches, a couple of items came up. One of the items that they said is maybe the ground lugs have corroded off. So, where are the ground lugs, right? That's <clears throat> most people's first question. So, looking around, I found the one. It's right there. And everything, you know, is grounded tightly. You know, the nut's still attached. And then that, and this is looking at the front, the driver's seat's over there. Um, so that's one ground lug right there. The other ground lug is right there. So looking at this other ground lug, everything's good there too. It's not loose, doesn't wiggle. Wires are looking good. So then, you know, just looking out or looking around to see if there's anything else. Something I did notice is this, this wiring harness. There's like a clip right here for it to clip into, but it's, the wire's too tight. You know, it's not clipping into there like these are. So <laughs> I did a, zip tie right there. Maybe I should use something different than a zip tie because a zip tie eventually will corrode and break. So I might do something different. I might try to, this is a wire har wiring harness that goes around for the the parking sensors and then for the the radar module that's in the front. So I might try to, you know, reach, reach my arm in there and see if you know if that's loose at all to give you an idea of what that means all right it's gonna you can see that oh wiring harness goes around and then it tucks between the the fan shroud and the bumper i'd rather not take the bumper off so i don't know how far i'll go down that route but the uh you know here's here's a look in at your dc to dc inverter is right there I believe right what my fingers touching DC to DC this is your coolant system heater and you'll see there's a pipe that goes into this side for coolant then there's one that comes up to the top right here and then you know the power connects there wraps around and then goes up goes into the module there I'm not quite sure why they wrapped it in front in front of that wire instead of going behind it you can see where it's kind of got a rub section on it and you can look and there's plenty of room for it to go behind so i'm not exactly sure why they didn't just go behind but i don't know it's always one of those questions like the engineer did he do that for a reason or did the guy who's installing it just kind of do it that way i don't know anyway that's the that's the top of the 85 kilowatt battery pack and see where it says you know t-e-s-l-a so the tesla across there and i just noticed the uh there's a drain hose right there i wonder what that's all about but it's kind of strained out some muck on the bottom and this is the the AC compressor, this is the autopilot system or power steering system, right? So that's where, when you turn the steering wheel, it goes down to this box. There's a sensor on it, and then this is actually going to drive the wheels back and forth because this is a rear wheel only. So there's no drive unit on the front. There's just the, the steering unit. So that's kind of your autopilot motor there. Um, anything, oh, coolant motors. So there's one coolant motor. Here's another coolant motor. Uh, where's the third one? Oh, there it is. There's the third coolant motor. So there's your three coolant motors. So yeah. 
I don't know if there's anything else that people would want to see. Power steering module. No, it's not power steering. Your brake. Anyway. But the, uh, like these wires were all bare, so I wrapped them. I might do something different there. Anyway, oh, there's the inside of it.